In this video, we're using a drone to check out our site. We have a deer eradication and control program at Highland Hill Farm. Our control program consists of fencing and hunting. We don't want deer on our site because deer rub and eat our trees. So we can use the drone to fly around and check different properties that we have in this area for deer. If you want to become part of our deer eradication program, you can, if you have a hunting license, come here and hunt. To hunt for the day, you bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, six inches by six inches by 12 foot long, and you can hunt for the day. If you get a deer, you get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, I will give you either the fence posts back or I will give you 25 worthless US dollars and the rest of the season you can hunt for free. And as you can see from the drone, you can cover a lot of territory quickly with, with very little fuel. It plugs into a, a 110 outlet to recharge. It takes about an hour to recharge the battery. The, this particular quadcopter can fly for about 15 minutes on a charge. So with that, we can fly over many of our different operations that we have in Fountainville. In Fountainville, we have three separate properties for you to hunt and one more up in Hilltown Township. So if you want to go hunting, call us at 215-651-8329. Thank you. Be prepared for another cold winter. The myth of the Arctic meltdown. Stunning satellite images now show as of August 2014 the summer ice cap is thicker and covers 1.7 million square kilometers more than two years ago. This is despite Al Gore's prediction that there would be no ice by now seven years after Al Gore's warning. The Arctic ice cap has expanded for its second year in a row and has grown to an area twice the size of Alaska, the biggest state which was open water two years ago and is now ice covered. Noor indicates trees are at risk from global cooling. Thus, we recommend that you plant green giants instead of Leyland cypresses in USDA Plant Zone 6. When visiting Highland Hill Farm, don't forget to pick up your free copy of Common Trees of Pennsylvania, a little book we have for you from Senator Chuck McElhinney. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we allow the free drop-off of pine chips from tree services. We also are looking to acquire some fencing for our different farms. We use woven wire, barbed wire. We also need fence posts. These are six by sixes that people dropped off for us. And we can use both 48 inch tall woven wire for areas where we have cattle. And then we're also using eight foot high woven wire for deer areas. This is a weight for a loader bucket that we got recently. We're looking for all kinds of tools and equipment. These are tires, 19.5 inch tires that we took in in a trade. So if you wanna find our location, this is the QR code to our location. Just copy this QR code onto your phone. At Highland Hill Farm, we barter for all kinds of items, whether it be PVC fittings or tires or fencing or bicycles or car parts. We will try and barter for what we need by using our trees and shrubs. And here's how we do it. When we want something, we create a YouTube video and that video describes what we want to acquire through a barter. We then create a web page for the item that we want and we embed the video from YouTube on that web page. Once we have our web page made and the embedded video on the web page created, we're now ready to start advertising on Craigslist. Craigslist is widely viewed and affords us a great opportunity to advertise our trees and shrubs in trade for the items that we need. We seem to never run out of items that we want, and we seem to never run out of trees because we keep growing more. So it's a great way for us to market our trees and find new customers for our tree farm. To give you an example, last year we were advertising a barter trade for people to come and hunt groundhogs on our property. 
They had to bring us a locust seed or a pressure treated fence post, and then they could hunt for the day. Well, we had a gentleman come down and he hunted a few times. He shot a few groundhogs and he was a real happy camper and went home with his groundhogs. But this year he came back and he just bought 15 of our Norway spruces and we will be delivering and planting them in the next few days. So, though we advertised for a groundhog hunt, we ended up selling 15 trees to one person. Not bad for a barter. This is Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. We grow trees and shrubs. And one thing we're not afraid of losing is our business model. And this is a post that's part of our business model. As strange as this may sound, we let people come and hunt here. All we ask is they bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, a 12 foot post, and then they can hunt for the day. The reason we do that is we want to protect our trees and shrubs from marauding deer. So we're building a deer fence on a bunch of different farms that we own and people come and bring us a post and then they hunt for the day. Now if they can't bring us a post, we usually find something else like some, some hose that we could use or maybe a hose reel like a used hose caddy or something like that. But generally speaking, we let people hunt for the day and if they get a deer, they get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, you can hunt the rest of the season for free and you get 25 worthless US dollars. Now who would want to steal that business model? Well, we also have other things that we do here at Highland Hill Farm. We own a number of properties out west where we let our customers go looking for Indian artifacts, dinosaur bones, and fossils. We also have places for people to come and go bird watching. And we also allow people to go hiking on our properties. So if you want to, you know, come to see Highland Hill Farm and see our business model, I'm sure you're not going to take it home with you, but you might take home a plant or two that you could improve your backyard with. So just give us a call at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA at 215-651-8329. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll This is one of my favorite new arborvitas that's just come out on the market. It's a plant patent number 19267 from Ball Ornamentals. It's called Forever Goldie. And it is a western red cedar type of arborvita. We grow these from small liners that we buy. We have to buy these because it's plant patented. And we pay a plant patent fee for each arborvita that we grow and raise and sell. We put these in small pots and pot them up and then we will pot them out in the field and we will also have them in larger three gallon pots for sale. This plant is an excellent plant for your patio or the back of a border. It has great orange color in the fall. It's upright, drought tolerant. It's an evergreen featuring scented foliage and it has heat resistance. Oh, what more could you ask for? Yes, it is good for borders, screens, garden beds, landscapes, and large mixed containers. It grows to 15 to 20 feet with a spread of 3 to 4 foot. And incidentally, unlike the Green Giant, which is zone hardy to zone 5, this is zone hardy to zone 4. So it has even better cold hardiness than the Green Giant. So give us a call if you want some at Highland Hill Farm. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA, and we do deliver and plant the Forever Goldie Arborvita. Obama's African National Security Folly, sending troops to Africa to control Ebola is beyond stupid. What African troops are doing to establish quarantines is shoot people who cross borders or violate quarantines. Is that what Obama plans to support? Africans do not trust us. How will this help us? U.S. troops are not skilled in infectious disease control. Obama seems to have a very confused vision of what national security means. Doctors who are highly trained got themselves infected. What will happen to our troops? 